I'm building a brand for artists. We're not just another brand. I want it to be a movement. I want to inspire and empower artists and creatives like you because athletes have Nike, runners have Asics, and what do artists have? Crayola? Like, you really gonna be repping Crayola? No, you're not. So that's why I'm doing this because artists deserves, they deserve a brand that champions them. That's that's my whole goal. So this I guess this is like a journey of how I'm building the brand and so it becomes big. Like imagine being able to watch Elon Musk build his brand before it became Elon Musk or any other fashion place. So my idea was I got a whole bunch of sketchbooks. They look really nice. I don't know if I have a I don't know if I have one that I can show you without opening this one. I don't want to open it. But what I did was I went on TikTok and I posted free sketchbooks. All they had to do was sign up on the email list so that I would have their emails and I could create like newsletters and like newsletter articles for them. And so far it worked. I have 171 signups so far and I only posted it yesterday or yeah, I posted it yesterday and have 171 signups for free sketchbooks. And I'm not really worried about the profit. So what I wasted, I don't know, maybe I think in total... 1700 but I'm like really thinking long term like if I have to spend that to create a community I have no problem I'll do that like I don't care I want to create a movement a community where they're all making art my phone just died I don't know where I left off but I know I was talking about the sketchbooks and something about not caring about making profit because I want to build a community of artists and on the same topic I want to build clothes as well. So that's why I did the sketchbooks to like, you know, bring them in because I care about artists. But at the same time, I don't feel like there is any like cool fashion brand for artists. Like again, like I said, athletes have Nike, runners have Asics. Artists really don't have anyone. And I want to be the brand that that artists can go to. You know what I mean? So this is the girl's tank top. Come on, you're going to tell me that's not fire? Come on, stop playing with me. Come on, I do this. Look at that. That's cute. And then look at the back. Boom. So if you got a girl, come on. Why why ain't you going to buy this for them? Come on. Lock in. Lock in. So that's the orange version. Then we have the black version. Boom, that's the back. And that is the front. It has the same lines. You just can't really see it on the black version. But it is, it is there. Those little lines and then I have a long sleeve for the guys and girls but it's really nice boom and then that's the back and the cool thing about this is that first it's a patch right it's a little patch I don't know if you can tell from here and I really tried my best <clears throat> to make a uh, clothing brand wear it just fit well like that's my whole goal is for it to fit well because i'm short i'm like five seven so i hate wearing jackets and stuff and it'd be like this look this is the medium this is a medium by the way and look how it bro come on that's not a medium to me look, look how big you want to tell me that's a medium it is down to my thumb right so i really tried to make measurements that just fit well who on whoever was wearing it and this one is slightly cropped and on the length of the arms it's like perfect it's now this time it's just i have no memory on my phone because i'm recording on my phone i do have a camera but it's just so much work to import that footage on the computer and then edit it it's just easier on my phone but like i was saying um it's like if i folded this right you see how if i fold it and bring it down it's like a perfect length so that's the whole goal for the shirts, for the long sleeves. They're so nice. So nice. You gotta you gotta see it. But yeah, so that's like my whole goal. Um I have like a lot of ideas of like someone painting and having the back of this show. And like that's the motivation. Like if you have this shirt, like your painting's gonna be fire, you know what I mean? Or if you have my sketchbook, like your drawings are gonna be fire. The whole goal is to motivate artists to actually draw and have a brand that's just cool. You know what I mean? Like, you can rep it and be like, dang, where you got that? Like, come on, imagine popping out 
in this as a girl or a guy, you know, I don't judge, whatever. But imagine popping out in this. Look at that. And then, you know, the back, and they'd be like, dang, like, where you got that at? Duh, Sestichi. That's where you got it at. Come on, stop playing. Like, that's who. Yeah, so. I will keep you guys updated on, like, the journey and, and what I do for the business because that's my whole goal is to make this as a documentary as as I go up. And it will be so weird watching this back. Oh, that would be so weird. It will be hearing me talk, like, 10 years down the line when I make this huge and I make every artist be a part of this brand. That would be amazing. And hopefully part of the goal is to have artists like sign with me and be able to sell their art through my website so that artists could like just go on this website and buy through artists that are already a part of the brand if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i think i'm gonna end it here because there's not much to do i have a uh, 170 sketchbooks to put in poly mailers poly mailers whatever they're called so that's what i'm gonna do all day is just pack but that is my first idea for the business and it worked so far i don't know if you want to try it give out something for free is it going to cost you something obviously it's going to cost you something but 